All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakurash, the one that's elders and apostles of great meals, so that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, You Niggas Have the Spirit of Satan, man. All right, and hey, that's why we hate two thirds of our people, man. All right, because they do, they, they, they do the deeds of Esau Edom, man. All right, they do the workings of Satan, man. All right, they're not following the ways of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And these niggas even rap about it inside their songs, man. Call themselves demons, all right? They say, I'm a demon, man, all right? They say, uh, uh, I be with my demons, you know? These niggas know that they are, they know that they demons, man. They know they have the spirit of Satan on them, man. All right, especially when you listen to, the, to that rap shit, man, all right? Hey, hey it's, it's, it's nothing but a hey, 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 satanic beats, man, all right? Hey, hey, our people, our people rap about Satan and shit, man, like... <laughs> Hey man, hey, hey, these niggas, these niggas love the wickedness, man. They love the ways of Satan, man. All right. So any further ado, I'm gonna jump to it. This is John chapter eight and forty four. It says, "Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you would do." All right, man. And hey, hey, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. Who the word ignorant, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Now he was talking to Israelites, man. A so called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. What they would be called in today's society, man. But hey, you are the Israelites, man. All right. But hey, the Lord said that you are of your father, the devil, man. Because hey, you work the workings of Satan, man. All right. You do the deeds of, of, of Esau, Edom, man. You do the seeds, the deeds of Caesar, man. All right. You say you have no king but Caesar, man. All right. Hey, Esau, Edom is who is the uh, who who the Esau, Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of, it, man. All right, he is a deceiver, man. He 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 comes after the working of Satan, man. All right, and you read um, it was the First Thessalonians, man. You know, and they two thirds of our people follow right up, right right up behind him, man. All right, because they love the darkness, man. They love the wickedness, man. It says he was a murderer, a murderer from the beginning, and a bold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. All right, there is no truth in Esau. There is no righteousness in this man, man, whatsoever. It says when he speaketh, they lie. He speak it of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. All right, man. This man is a deceiver. All right. All he do is all he does is slander, man. All right. Put lies, put lies upon lies upon lies, man. All right. There's no truth in this man, man. This is who our people love to follow, man. All right. This is who our people uh hold on to, man. All right. But hey, guess what, man? Holding on to the devil, man, only brings death. So hey, this is um Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two. And Verse 23, it says, For Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. All right, man? This is what we were supposed to be, man. We were supposed to be immortal, man. But what we failed, man. All right? Because hey, Adam sinned. All right? Adam went off, man. And hey, we, hey, we've we been falling ever since, man. All right? Man, hey, two-thirds of our people, man, they, they ain't even trying to come back to Yahweh by Shemal Shad. They ain't trying to seek the Lord ten times more, as the scriptures tell us to do, man. All right? From, hey, I'm falling away, man. Us sinning, us going off. All right, from Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, the only one that's gonna come back to the Lord is the elect, man. All right, everyone else, hey, hey, all, the rest of our nation is just gonna forsake Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. And hey, ultimately, man, you haven't forsaken the Lord, you forsook your damn self, man. So, hey, verse 24 says, Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it, all right, man. So, if you holding on to this world, you holding on to Esau, Edom, all right, you bound yourself down to this beast system, man, all right, this image, man. All right, guess what, man? Your ass is going to be destroyed by Yahweh Bashem al man. All right? You're going to be, uh, you're going to uh, find death, man. All right? It's like you hate the Lord, man. That's truly what it is, man. You truly hate Yahweh Bashem al man. All these ass-shaking assholes, man. All right? All these game-banging tough niggas, man. All right? All these niggas hate the Lord, man. And the Lord hates your ass, man. And this is Proverbs 8 and 36. It says, but he that sinneth against me wronged his own soul. You wrong your own soul, man. All right? Because you don't know what you're falling into, man. All right, you thinking that you're going to add sin on top of sin on top of sin. Nothing's going to happen. All right, like it says in Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter. But, hey, the Lord said it will not go well with you, man. All right? Hey, your days will not be prolonged, man. All right? And you know what that means. <laughs> it says, all day that hate me love death. All right? All those that hate Yahweh Bashem al love death, man. All right? They love to dwell in torments, man. They love to be in sorrow, man. All right? That's why the Lord said two-thirds of our people are going to uh, dwell in sorrows, man. I said they're going to dwell in torments. Hey, this is this is all because you hey, you don't want the Lord, uh, you don't want to deal with the Lord, man. All right, and the Lord has His hand stretched out to you, man, through His prophets. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse um, nine. It says, "Then they that be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, 
and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So, right, man? Hey, two thirds of our people have cast away uh, the ways of the Lord despitefully, man. All right, they said we have no king but Caesar, man. All right, they said hey, to, to, to let the Lord Yahweh Shai's blood to be upon them and their children, man. All right, they despise the Lord, man. They hate Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. All right, hey, you read that in uh, Isaiah the 30th chapter, man. Lord, when I grab that, but it says, um, yeah, it says verse 10, it says, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. All right, hey, hey, hey two thirds of our people, man, they get all these benefits, man. All right, from the Lord, man, a nigga again, a car crash, man, drunk driving, man. All right. And don't even thank the Lord, man. He just put on Facebook and make a joke about it, man. All right? And you just received the benefit from Yahweh Basham al man. All right? The Lord said he make it rain upon the just and the unjust, man. All right? But what? Our people don't, don't they don't, they don't, they don't, uh, um, uh, reverence the Lord, man. All right? They don't look back at Yahweh, at, at, at what really happened, man, and be like, hey, man, hey, 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 this is divine inter intervention, man. The Lord just saved me, man. All right? They don't even seek after him, man. You know? It says, and they that have loathed my law. While they had, while they had yet liberty, it's like it says, and while as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. All right, man, these niggas must die, man. All right, they must suffer, man. Hey, it's the only way, man. It's the only way for you to know it, man. The only way for you to know Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, man. All right, because hey, you're gonna come back into the kingdom with a with a new mindset, man. You're gonna be totally rewired, man. All right. With those, uh, because the Lord promised us that we're gonna uh, uh get these lost such commandments inside of our inward parts, man. All right, from the least to the greatest Israelite, man. All right, but hey, two thirds of our people have to suffer, man, because they have the mindset of Satan, man. The Lord has to beat that shit out of them, man, to, to death, man. All right, it's the only way, man. Hey, this is John chapter 3 and 19. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, all right, Yahweh Shai, and men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil, right, man? So, hey, these niggas love the darkness, man. They love the ways of Esau, Edom, over the ways of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Over the ways of Yahweh Shai, man. This word, man. All right? These lost as commandments, man. They, 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 they will not walk in them, man. All right? Hey, um, I'm going to grab this right quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. It says, Thus said Yahweh, Stand ye in the ways and see. And ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein. All right, man. Hey, these lost house commandments that we that that was given to our to our forefathers, man. All right, this is the way that we should walk in, man. That's good. That's a good way to walk, man. All right, that's how we're supposed to live our lives, man. It says, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. All right, but our people will not walk therein, man. All right, they see all the all all all, all these great benefits from serving Yahweh Hashem Al Shad, man. All right, but hey, they won't do it, man, because Israel is a stiff neck people, man. Right, as it says in um, Deuteronomy, the thirty, the thirty-second chapter, the ninth verse, man. So it says, verse seventeen. It says, also I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. All right, man, they will not hearken, man. They ain't hearkening to what the prophets are saying, man. We lifting up our voice like a trumpet, man. All right, but they will not hearken to the, they will not hearken to the watchmen, man. All right, they forsake us. They hate us, man. All right. They hate Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. They despise him, man. All right. They despise us, man. All right. They, they, they despise us. They despise the Lord, man. You read that in um, Luke ten and sixteen, man. They despise us, man. They despise Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. So we doing nothing but coming with that message from the Lord, man. So this is John chapter three and um, verse twenty. It says, "For every one that doeth evil hated the light, neither coming to the light, lest his deeds." Should be reproved, all right? And our people don't want to be reproved, man. All right. Only thing they want to do is a hey, add sin unto sin, man. All right. Not think about your how about your shot, man. Only do the 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 lust of their hearts, man. All right. And that's why the Lord has to judge their ass, man. This is Isaiah chapter thirty and verse one. All right, man. Because at the end of the day, man, hey, 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 you're barred with a price, man. All right. Hey, hey, how was shot laid his life down for the nation of Israel, man? All right. But hey, two thirds of our people, man, they forsook the Lord, man. All right, so hey, now you niggas got you 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 got blood upon you, man. All right, you got to pay for that, man. So this is Isaiah thirty one. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children," said Yahweh, "that take counsel but not of me, that and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin." All right, man. This is what our people want to do. They want to add sin to sin, man. All right, they will never come to the light, man. They 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 hate the light, man. They don't want to be reproved, man. All right. So it says, "That walk to go down into Egypt." 
and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right, man, that's what our people want to do, man. They're going to go down. They're going to get all these waters injected into them, man. All right. They're going to ultimately get those uh, injectable uh, uh, devices in them, man. All right. To ultimately show their ultimate lenience, their, their ultimate alliance to Esau Edom, man. All right, because that's truly what it is, man. You, 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 you putting that that digital all into your ear, man, as, as we did in the ancient world, man. All right, when we wanted, uh, you know, a servant, all right, to be with his master forever, man. You put that all through his ear, man. That's what's gonna happen with two thirds of our people, man. All right, hey, this time is gonna be in your hand or your forehead, man. All right. So it says, verse three. It says, therefore shall the strength of a pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. All right, man, because they all those that trust in this fucking world, man. All right. America, man, all right, a, a, a truthfully known as Babylon, the great in the scriptures, man, all right, hey, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord, man, all right, he tells you in uh, Revelation, the 14th chapter, all right, anyone that that, that took that, that mark of the beast, I mean, the, the MOTB, man, all right, hey, you're going to uh, burn in fire, man, all right, you're going to burn the lake of fire, man, you're going to be tormented before the, 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 uh, Yahweh Shai, the angels, man, all right, and the elect, and hey, 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 you're going to be tormented with that fire and brimstone, man, for a very long time, man. But I'm going to skip down to verse 8. It says, Now go right it before them in a table and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, all right? Lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, all right? This is, this is what the nation of Israel is, man, all right? Lying children, rebellious, man, all right? Just hey, hey, following every way. Outside of the way of Yahweh Shemal Shai, every way outside of the way of salvation, man. All right, hey, our people truly love death, man. They're gonna find it, man. All right, it says we say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy unto us, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy the seed. All right, and that's why people go to these uh, church houses, man. All right, so they can feel good, man. All right, about all the wickedness that they're doing. Hey, they tell them God is going to forgive you for everything that you're doing every fucking week, man. All right, when the Lord said to sin no more, man. All right, when he healed someone, he said sin no more. All right, the Lord wants you to hey, hey, try your very best to walk perfectly, man. As he walked perfectly, he, hey, he, is, he is our greatest example, man. All right, but hey, our people don't want that, man. They want deceit, man. They want lies, man. All right. And hey, those lies only are, uh, those lies are only gonna uh, get you deaf, man. We we'll keep going. It says, "Get you out, of, get you out of the out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the holy one of Israel to cease from before us." All right, they want the Lord to cease from before them, man. It says, "Wherefore thus said the holy one of Israel, because he despised this word and trust in oppression and and um, perverseness and stayed thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be." Shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling in a high in a high wall whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. All right, man. So wait, you niggas are gonna get that Jacob's trouble. All right, you're gonna get those plagues, man. You're gonna get all these horrible judgments that the Lord has set up, man, because you trust in oppression, man. All right, perverseness, man. You trust in the ways of wickedness, man. Esau Edom's ways, man. All right. We supposed to be proclaiming Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. We supposed to be against this world, man. All right, not with it, man. But. Hey, this is a this is a sick nation, man. And this is um Isaiah chapter one and verse two it says, Hear O it hear O heaven, and give ear O earth, for Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. All right, man. This is talking about the nation of Israel, man. All right, the Lord has nourished us, nourished us, man. The Lord brought us from the from the nation from the land of Egypt, man. All right. He made us his people, man. You know? But hey, what do our people do, man? A verse 3, it says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Our people don't even consider the Lord, man. They don't even consider what Yahweh Shemal Shah has done for us, man, for our entire nation, man, for our forefathers, man. All right? Only thing they think about is this world, man. All right? And what Esau Edom can provide for them, man. All right? What wickedness can provide for them, man. These, these niggas truly have the spirit of Satan on them, man. All right? Nothing but, nothing but evil doers, man. All right? Nothing but niggas, man. All right. So it says, ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. All right, man. I mean, hey, this shit is all over you, man. All right. Iniquity is all over this nation, man. All right. Two thirds of our people made the scripture say that our people overpass the deeds of the wicked, man. All right. Hey, man, two thirds of our people, man, hey, you will have a sodomite, man. All right. And he, he he's going harder than Esau Edom could ever do, man. All right. 
Hey, nigga, nigga, go, go kill and go game begging, man. He's going harder than, than, than a heathen ever will, man. You know? Our people are wicked as hell, man. That's why the Lord has to judge their ass, man. It says a seed of evildoers and hey, hey, ultimately, man, this nation is against the Lord, man. Because hey, 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 it says that, I'm going to just grab it right quick, James 4 and 4. Because hey, man, you are enemy to the Lord, man. You niggas are enemies, man. Hey, hey, you, hey, you, you holding hands with Satan, man. Hey, hey you gonna be destroyed, man. All right, the Lord is not. The Lord is nowhere near on your side, man. All right, the Lord is totally against you, the same way He's totally against Esau, Edom, man. All right. The only thing about it is that you lucky as fuck, you're an Israelite, man. All right, because hey, you're gonna be able to uh, be birthed back through the loins of the elect, man. All right, but you're gonna have that everlasting shame and content, man, which is gonna be a very long time, man. But this is James chapter four and four. It says, "Ye, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not." That the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh, all right? Holding hands with this world, all right? Hey, hey, you make yourself an enemy to, uh, to the Lord, man. It says, whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh, all right, man? You are an enemy of, 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 of uh, the righteous, man, all right? Yahweh Bashmael shot his son, man, all right? The Lord ain't dealing with your ass, man. The Lord ain't dealing with no nigga that want to eat pork all day, man, and, 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 and a game bang and be a nigga, man. All right, the Lord ain't on your side, man. Gain is not godliness, man. This is uh Isaiah chapter one and verse four it says, "Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are they are gone away backward. All right, man. Our people are a they totally against the Lord, man. They forsook Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man." All right, they made the Lord angry, man. That's why the Lord has, has, has judged our entire nation, man. All right, put us all in this captivity, man. But hey, it's, it's, it's a remnant that's gonna come back to the Lord, seek the Lord ten times more, man. All right, and hey, the Lord is gonna they, they totally jack up the rest of our nation, man. All right, with plagues, man. All right, a hey, 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 the plague of the mind, man. All right, which is nothing to play with, man. You're gonna be bugged out in your mind, man. All right, you ain't gonna know what the hell is going on, man. Hey, hey, how about Shemal Shah is about to unleash complete and utter hell. On these niggas, man. All right, in the entire world, man. So it's verse five. It says, "Why should ye be stricken any more? You re, you will ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. All right, man. Our people are sick from the head to the toe, man. All right, hey, just covered with sin, man. Covered with with the spirit of Satan, man. All right, they revolting, man. All right, hey, that's why the Lord said, "Why would you be stricken even more, man? All right, why why is the Lord gonna continue to whoop your ass, man? All right." It makes no sense, man. Hey, hey, hey. You're never going to get right, man. You're never going to learn your lesson, man. All right? Just like you you, you whooping all right, a badass kid, man. Hey, hey, hey. Motherfucker laughing at you, man. He thinking the shit funny. All right? Hey, man, what more can I do, man? You know? It's the same way with the Lord. What more can the Lord do for you niggas but destroy your ass, man? All right? You're not going to get right, man. It says, verse 6, it says, from the, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and and purifying source, uh, they have they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mortified with ointment. All right, man. So it's no it's no healing you niggas, man. It's no bring y'all ass back from the dead, man. All right, the Lord don't want you. The Lord is not dealing with you, man. All right, you got a spirit of Satan. You follow after your father, the devil, man. All right, and they following after your father, the devil is gonna bring you death and destruction, man. All right. So hey, hey man, if Yahweh Bashmal Shai puts fear into your heart, man. If the Lord puts fear into your heart, man. If this if, if, if this puts fear into you, man, you better repent, man. All right? You better come back to your house by Shemal Shai, man, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Death and destruction awaits, man. So, yeah, I pray this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kurash, that will honor to our elders and apostles of great meals and a dual will, and salutations and blessings to you. I can pushing this word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.